Hi guys, I hope you're doing good. Uh, today I'll be talking a little bit more about my project instead of what I usually talk about. I hope I'll stay as engaging as possible and you guys just have to stay with me. Alright, All right, here goes. As mentioned in the title, you know, uh, I'm talking about uh, advanced film production, first project. Uh, and for this project, we're doing a three, three minutes short, uh, a long take, which amazingly is, is not as easy as I thought it to be. Well, of course, uh, this is one of the few times that I, I'm the director you know, uh, for this project and this is probably um, the second time that I've been a director. So, I can't say that I have all the experience in the world. Well, I think basically um, the director's role is pretty simple. Uh, in that sense, I, I, I guess the director is the one that sees you know, what, what this film can bring about. Uh, unfortunately, even though I was the one that came up with the story, I, I couldn't exactly picture it when, when I was directing during production. Well, of course, in pre-production, uh, during audition, uh, we have a couple of problems, I would say, uh, regarding talents. You know, we, we, have, we have a lot, a lot of male talents that sign up, uh, but unfortunately, we couldn't get a mother. Which is kind of tough. Trying to find an adult female to play the mother's role is the toughest thing ever. I wouldn't say it's tough if I were to pay them, say, 200 bucks a day. But because this was a student production, we kind of have to go low budget, you know? So it's really hard to find female talents, female adult talents that would actually want to act for us for a low cost, you know, for one day, because there are professionals out there that will charge you as high as, I don't know, 500 bucks a day. I was a little naive, however, uh, because I was trying to save costs, and I was thinking along the lines that this is student production, we don't really have to make it big. You know, how wrong I was to think that, uh, basically because, you know, we got actors that are, I wouldn't say they're not good, I mean, they do do a fantastic job. It's just that they are unable to act out what I originally had in mind. And it was really difficult to, to try to direct them to what uh, the story is really about. I guess the problem with my entire uh, production is, is really to do with the casting. Uh, not only was I the director, I was the casting director. And my group members uh, had actually given me the choice to pick the actors. Well, of course, I went and picked the cheapest one and it didn't go as well as I thought it to be. You know, I'm really glad that I got to be director because I don't really get a lot of chance to, to direct you know, out of my three years in my entire poly life. And I would say, um, even though I didn't really do a really good job, like a really terrible job, at least, you know, I got the experience, you know, what it's like to to direct, you know, to try to bring it out. I, I, I guess during the pr process of the production itself, I was really afraid to speak my mind. You know, like, when I when I look at um, how they act, I'm just, you're doing it wrong. But I don't really know how I expressed it uh, and, and stuff along that line. I have to be more bold. You know, to, to really not be afraid to scold them, not be afraid to tell them, hey, you know, you're doing it wrong, you're terrible, you are, I wouldn't say useless, you know, that, that's a bad word. But I guess I was really afraid to offend people. So, lesson learned. If I was ever given a chance to redo this production, I would definitely say find a better location and of course, um, get better cast. I never really thought that you know, the, the, the cast can make so much of a difference to the success or failure of a film. Well, of course, there are, other, there are definitely other uh, conditions around, like, like cinematography, you know, the editing. But yes, of course, if given a chance to, to redo this, I would definitely, definitely you know, uh, reconsider the cast and, and not be afraid you know, to spend money. You can never be afraid to spend money. Especially when you're in year three. You know, it's your graduating year. You know, you should just go all out. Ah! 
Last but not least, I really want to say this, I thoroughly enjoyed the entire process of my first project uh, through pre-production, production, and of course post-production. Um, I, I, I guess I, I really got wonderful teammates you know, uh, for this project compared to the others. I shall not say much about that. They are fun people to be with, you know, we, each of us, you know, we really focus on the things we are meant to do. The editor will do editing, the scriptwriter will scriptwrite, you know, the producer will produce. You know, our whole teammates, we are really very focused with what we are supposed to do. And I enjoyed it, so that's all folks. Uh, I hope I didn't bore you with my continuous rant about my project. Uh, and of course, you know, to my lecturer who's watching this, uh, I hope I didn't bore you as well. I'm not really that good of a speaker. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to my next project and I'll be coming up with another video uh, for my next project. So, I really, really hope you guys enjoy this. Have a nice day and I'll see you soon.